What's up YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan Soma Espresso Bar and today we have another unboxing and I kind of cheated and opened the box but I have not opened what is inside of the box just yet. I'm going to save that for you to see as well as me. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. YouTube, Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and today I have a special visitor, and he's extremely happy to come back and make his second appearance. Yes, you guessed it. It's Josh, my cousin. So Josh, come on in and say hi to the viewers because you're such a big hit on the last episode. So here is my cousin Josh. Hello um, again. <laughs> so he actually purchased beans for me and sent them to my house and they came in today so pretty excited i'm on two hours of sleep within the last 42 hours because i work overnight so i'm on that struggle life but we're staying caffeinated my friends that's why we're on this channel so without further ado i am going to unbox this box and we are going to show you the beans that are inside so the very first beans that he sent me which were, by the way i didn't know they were going to be this big yeah these things are huge so <laughs> Definitely recommend smaller quantities so the beans stay fresher a lot longer. However, he ordered the size of beans the size of my house. So we got big two pound Lavazza Super Crema. Extremely excited to see this. Uh, someone that I follow, his name is Hoon. He has tried these and absolutely loves them. So definitely gonna give these a try and I'm just extremely happy to try those out. Next, we have another bag the size of probably three houses. And this is Real Good Coffee Company, Seattle, Washington, two pounds. I mean, this thing is huge. Like, look at this compared to my head. G gigantic. However, uh, extremely happy to try this one as well. Uh, these are all medium roast. Uh, I prefer medium roast. So does he. Obviously, that's why he bought them all for me. He's a, he's more excited to try these, I think, than uh, than I was to get them. Uh, even though I was extremely excited to get them, so I don't even know how that's possible. However, we're gonna try this out. And if you look on the back of these for some specialty coffees, it tells you the different methods that they prefer and how to use these to get the best results possible. So then. The final, last, but not least, beans that he bought were Life Boost Coffee. So this is the smallest bag out of all three, but it was the most expensive bag. <laughs> I'm gonna have Josh explain why these are so expensive. We're gonna do this one first because my cousin is the most excited to try these beans. So I'm gonna let my cousin take it away here and just explain to you why he's so excited to try these in particular. So he's just gonna go ahead and read off a couple of cool facts about these beans. So these beans are grown in high elevations and they're sun dried and they are shade grown. So what does it mean for like it to be shade grown and grown in higher elevations? What does that do to the beans? So when they're in higher elevation, oxygen plays a huge role in the taste and the overall quality of the coffee bean. Another part of the description in these beans also states that, what, what was that that we didn't really know? It was fairly traded. Fairly traded. So if you guys know, um, please leave it in the comments down below because we have no idea what fairly traded means. Uh, however, it sounds pretty cool. And these and are 100% organic as well. 100% organic. So another cool thing is right on the bag, it says, enjoy coffee guilt-free knowing you're drinking healthy, pure, delicious coffee. So if you're looking to stay healthy and stay caffeinated, my friends, go ahead and try Life Boost. We have no idea how they taste, but that's yeah, I was gonna say, we gotta for. get through the taste. Yeah, so we gotta first. get through the taste. It might even be awful, so just avoid all of this. But yeah, we're gonna get to the taste test. We're gonna dial them in and we will see you guys island in the beans over here. It's over there. Right here. Right there. Yeah, right, yeah, there. right there. Right there. Right yeah. there. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to get into dialing in these beans, Life Boost. Pretty excited, and we hyped them up enough, so 
Well, I think it's only fair for you guys to watch us dial in these beans and Josh is gonna give us another taste test and his mouth may or may not still be third degree burn from the last taste test that we did. So if you're gonna have any kind of milk-based beverage, go ahead and chug it as soon as you get it. However, if you go for a hot Americano or a long black. Sip it. Sip, you heard him folks. You heard him from the man himself. Sip the drink, it is hot. All right, so without further ado, get to open up the beans. All right, Josh, if you wanna come back in here and go ahead and open these up since you bought these, I want you to get, to get the whole experience and smell the aroma when opening the bag for the first time. So go ahead and open it up and just give it a little it's a nice sniff. Yeah, those smell really good. Uh, <laughs> smell really good. Yeah, those, are, those, are, those smell real good. So I'm just gonna show you guys the quality of these beans. So me and my cousin both like uh, medium roasted beans. So these beans look absolutely incredible. No oil whatsoever. Extremely good, actually true medium roast, all about the same size, no broken up, no bigger, no smaller. I mean, overall, awesome so far. All right, so let's get to dialing in these beans. So we're gonna go ahead and single dose because single dosing is the best method in my opinion when trying to stay as consistent as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and dose 18 grams. All right, so we got 18.1 grams. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and grind these in the niche. All right, so as you guys just witnessed, these beans are pretty fresh. So if you guys go ahead and look back at the shot that was pulled, number one, it went way too fast. And right now we are on grind setting number 22 on the niche. So we're gonna go down to about 20. And if you guys noticed, there was a lot of air pockets, meaning the beans still have a lot of CO2 that needs to be released from the bean. So. Uh, I would definitely, uh, it's because these are so fresh, uh, you're definitely gonna want to just play with it a little bit more and try to dial it down. So now right now we're gonna go from 22 down to 20 and we're gonna see what happens. So obviously we pulled that shot in, I mean, I don't even know, it was extremely fast and we got 36, almost 37 grams out, which was insane. I mean, if you put it in a milk-based beverage, it'll still taste good, however, um, because you guys loved it so much. We're gonna have Josh do another taste test, even though we're not quite there yet dialing it in, but we're getting close. So Josh, you wanna come in here and just give the viewers a, another taste test? He's dancing with my dog at the moment. <laughs> 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 so 
Just slow and steady wins the race. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and give it a little taste test here. That's pretty smooth. Yeah, pretty smooth. That's smooth. So even though it's not completely dialed in yet, which we're gonna do that, uh, he still thinks it tastes very good. I think it tastes very good. So we're gonna go ahead, oh, wow. Stay caffeinated, my friends, because he just chugged all of that. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and pull another shot here. So stay tuned, we're gonna dial it in even further. All right guys, so as you guys just saw, I accidentally turned my scale off before I actually made the shot. So it went out still extremely fast, still a lot of air pockets, uh, which is gonna happen when you have extremely fresh beans. There's just no getting around it. However, now what we are gonna do is we went from 22 down to 20. We're gonna go to 17 because it is coming out that fast that I am just going to dial it down just a little bit better, but just give you guys a little taste test here because my cousin already just chugged a double shot. We're all just gonna stay caffeinated, so I'm gonna take a double shot. So if you guys wanna look at this crema, pretty nice looking crema. So because this is a coffee channel and what better than a coffee channel than to just chug a double shot. So I guess I'll just chug it as well and then we'll go on for round three. And then hopefully that third round, I'm gonna frost some milk and put it for Josh and then I'm also gonna have one as well. So you guys get a good look into how it is to dial in these beans or just to dial in beans in general. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chug this one. Cheers. Ah, oh, that's so hot. Ooh, it was extremely smooth, but um, it's nothing like hot coffee. It's like hot tea and you just chug it all, so. I definitely do not recommend doing that. However, it was fantastic, and we're gonna get to dialing in for the third time on setting number 17. So stay tuned, let's get it. So it's like we're on our sixth shot. <laughs>
Josh. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. We finally dialed that in. So excited. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the crema. So there is the good looking crema. Looks extremely well. So we had to go from 22 down to 20 down to 17. So we went down quite a bit. We went down five on the niche. So pretty fine. However, it that's what it takes to pull this shot. So Josh, you want to come out here and try this espresso? Give it a little taste test here before we go ahead and froth the milk. Don't drink it all because I got to pour a lot here. All right, so here we go. Taste test, not even in the camera, but that's fine. How was it? <laughs> good. It's still on your lips, so it must have been pretty good. <laughs> all right, so now we're just going to go ahead and set this aside and we're going to go ahead and froth the milk. Come on this side. Really get in there. All right, so we just pulled the shot. We just brought the milk. It looks absolutely incredible, but we still have to have the taste test. So Josh, if you would do the honors and give everybody at home a taste test of these amazing beans. But you have to make the taste test when it's all over your lips because that's how you know it's delicious. Oh yeah. That's super good. I, I don't even know because I haven't tried it yet, but absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and pull one more shot for you guys. Now that we have it dialed in, I'm going to froth some more milk so you guys can see one more attempt at latte art. And thank you guys so much. If you guys are still watching, I love you guys. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate all of you. My channel would not be possible if it wasn't for you at home. Uh, I'm gaining a family here. We're all gaining each other and we're all here for each other. So if you can hit that like and subscribe button down below, it truly helped me and support my channel. And I appreciate you guys. So let's get ahead and pull the next shot of espresso and for all the other lots.
It is a family it channel, is. guys. So my not, wife no, no, no. is amazing. No. She, no, okay. I'm amazing, but I'm not. Look at me. I don't even have a freaking bra on. I'm gonna keep that in there too. <laughs> it is a family channel, but she can't be seen. Josh, come in here. You're gonna keep what in there? I'm gonna keep all this in here. Oh, We're all gonna hear great. that. That's great. I don't have a freaking bra. So on. here is the <laughs> latte art that we just got. Here, I can. So it was good. Let me put my so it was absolutely insane. So because Josh, Josh, come on in here. Let's. This is a family channel, so we're all going to come in here. Come in, group hug, group hug, group hug. Oh, oh gosh, geez. I'm spilling the coffee. So I'm gonna give you guys a taste test while we have a family little session get together here. So I'm gonna give you guys a little taste. Just love being on videos when I don't have makeup. Oh my gosh, super good. <laughs> mm. Super good. Oh yeah, we're still filming. Um, I don't like being in the front. Okay. It's a game changer. It is a game changer. So, you just saw the whole process of dialing in new beans. I've never used these before. Uh, they're extremely fresh. Um, I mean, there is zero comparison. It's like comparing apples to oranges. It's like comparing like jumping off a trampoline and jumping off like the highest skyscraper in the world. Okay, that's a bit extreme, don't do that. Definitely do not recommend that. However, I mean, just the quality of beans. Yes, this bag is extremely expensive. My cousin said he spent about $35 on one bag of beans. So yes, you get what you pay for. I mean, this is probably the smoothest bean so far that I've ever tried. I mean, it is absolutely insane. Uh, oh, there it goes, Ellie. It's Ellie approved. So, absolutely insane. Uh, I would say the dialing in process wasn't too bad. It was just, I was a little thrown off. Uh, you, you never know where to start. On my niche grinder, I know a lot of you guys are using the Bravo Barista Express, and I will be dialing in the other beans that he got me with the Bravo Barista Express. However, it is absolutely awesome. With the niche, I started out at 22. I had to dial it down uh, finer to 20. And then that was still too fast, so I dialed it down to 17. 17 was absolutely perfect. So if you guys are struggling with dialing in your beads at home, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoyed my family, my wife, Brittany, my dog, Ellie, buddy Theo on the ground, you can't see him, but you probably hear him walking around on the floor. And then my cousin, Josh. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Stay caffeinated and I love all of you. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and so you support me and my channel and also hit that bell notification so you never miss another one of our videos. That's you great. never know what you're going to expect when watching one of my videos because it's just, I mean, I don't, I don't plan these things, guys. I just do it. So I do it for you. There's a video coming tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'm going to be going over my Crema all-in-one distributing tool and tamp. Don't miss it. It's going to be posted at 7 p.m. Central Time. Absolutely going to be a great video. So if you're in the market for a new tool or to upgrade, definitely check that out. And until next time, peace. Have a good night, guys.